Oh, there, there, there's one over there. And then over there, over there, yeah. We haven't unboxed Beatles on this channel yet, right? Well, welcome to another unboxing. And today we're gonna be unboxing with a pen. Well, <laughs> what was even that? I don't even know. This is a box full of Beatles. Yes, guys, Beatles. Not tarantulas. Oh my gosh, look at what I did to the box. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me the beetles are out running around in here. Please no. Please, please no. Oh my gosh. We don't need you anymore. So, here we go. Stab and pull. Stab and pull. Wait, wait, wait. I could have just... <laughs> I could have just opened the tape over here and just... Oh my gosh. I am a genius, you guys. Hey, get off! Get, uh, get off! Now, let's see what's in here. We've got a bunch of newspapers. Oh, I see. So these cardboard things, eight crates, were just to pad it. It looks like the Beatles are in a container. Ooh, oh my gosh, look at that. So the, <laughs> these are the little Beatles. Well, these guys are definitely something that we don't unbox or see very often on this channel or even at all. And these Beatles are not pads, by the way. These are cleaner crews, which basically means that you put them in an animal enclosure, like a roach enclosure, and they will start eating up all the dirt and poop that you don't want. They're pretty much scavengers, which is awesome. So these guys, I got them for pretty cheap. 25 for about a dollar plus, a dollar 20. I bought about five dollars. Yeah, about five dollars. So there should be around 100 in here. Yeah, my math is a little bit out. I don't know. Is it 100? <laughs> Doesn't matter, but we've got beetles and these will be tossed into my turkey stand roach bin. So whatever poop or leftover food that the turkey stand roaches leave, these guys will help to clean it up. So there are two little deli cups in there with oats. I have no idea why do these guys eat oats? I think that's why they put two deli cups. Or why deli cups though? Why couldn't they just pour the oats in this big container? They just put in two small deli cups, whatever. But let's open this and check them out. All right, I've got the tape. Like the tape was all around the sides. I got it off and I accidentally stabbed a hole with my finger. Yeah, whatever. But let's open this and take a look at them. There seems to be quite a bit in here. I think he put in extra for me. It looks like it. I don't I don't understand. Why do you put oats in here? Are they supposed to go through these holes and eat the oats? I don't know. There's two. I don't see any beetles in here. I mean, if you put the beetles in here with the oats and ship them, it makes sense, right? It makes sense. But the beetles are in here and an empty container of just oats. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. But here are the beetles. Um, let me grab one to show you guys. There are some brown ones. There are some black ones. Here is one of them. Little beetle. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Check that out. They're super small. And these are pretty much the uh, adult size because beetles, as larvas, they're like little worms. There we go. Yeah. Mealworms are in fact beetles, darkling beetles. They turn into these black beetles. But these guys, whoa, there's actually quite a bit in here. Look at that. The seller told me that these guys can't climb smooth surfaces. So hopefully they don't climb out of my turkey stand roach bin because that will not be fun. But the good thing is my turkey stand roach bin, the sides are pretty smooth. So taking the seller's words, these guys should not, they should not, I'm not going to say will not, they should not escape from there. But I guess you could call this our new addition. Can you call this our new addition? I mean, they're not pets. They're like cleanup crews, or should I say decomposers? They probably eat dead bodies as well, like dead roaches. No, not dead human bodies. That's just, yeah. <laughs> so let's go and put them in the turkey stand roach bin and we'll resume the video. Okay, actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm not gonna put them in my turkey stand roach bin. Let's just keep them in this container over here with the oats and I will try to culture them. We'll let them breed in here and then when they multiply a lot, then we'll use them as cleanup crews. So I guess you could say that these guys are considered pets right now. Yep, new pets, new additions. So let's knock them off this egg crate. Yeah, that is not going as how I want it. Ooh, okay. All right, so there we go. I've knocked all of them off and it doesn't even look like a hundred, to be honest. Did it give me more or less? I have no idea. But, oh my gosh, tape. Really? Really tape? 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I'm so clumsy. Man, I almost spilled all of these guys. That will not be good. So I guess having these oats now makes sense because I can use these oats and give them a meal. But it still doesn't make sense why they're in this container. I mean, they were sold to me as cleanup crews. The seller expected me to toss them into some roach bin or something. So this, putting this in with them in a container didn't quite make much sense to me. But, well, they've got oats now. Not too much, but... I guess that will sustain them a little bit for now. So I'll go to the grocery store and get some oats, my own oats for them. But yeah, there we go, guys. We've got some new pets, like a lot of new pets. We've got some beetles, which I forgot what they're called. That's our new, I mean, these are our new additions or pets. I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess we will put eight crates in. I mean, I just toss them off of the eight crates. I'm gonna hit them off of this eight crate and I'm gonna put back eight crates for them. I'm such a genius. Man, more people in the world should be like me. Just kidding. If you couldn't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Please don't be like me. <laughs> there we go. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's just rehouse them into this container. So let's prepare a little nice enclosure for them. Nice. Yeah, my definition of nice is simple and effective. So let's prepare this for them and let them breed in here, I guess. So first things first, we're gonna get some... Oh yeah, I washed this, by the way. You can see the water down there. <laughs> but yeah, first things first, we're gonna get some organic potting soil, which is over here. Just sprinkle it at the bottom. I'm not gonna put too much of substrate, just a little bit for them to have a substrate. And yeah, I guess that will be just a little bit more. That will be enough. Yep, just about that. Just enough for them to burrow if they decide they want to. I know I'm gonna have a hard time trying to find them once I put them in here because they're gonna burrow in the substrate, but this will just be another terrarium, but of beetles. <laughs> Instead of egg crates, we're gonna be putting in some organic stuff like dried leaf matter and some seeds. Just to make it, I don't know, it's more appealing, don't you think? Like dried leaves instead of egg crates. Yeah, those things don't look too appealing. Also, these things will give the beetles a place to hide. Like, they can hide under here, which, I don't know, it's definitely more naturalistic than egg crates. I've got some dried leaves as well, which I will just be tossing in randomly like that. And we're gonna be sprinkling in some coconut fiber just because I can. It's not necessary, but yeah, I just have whatever and I'll use it. And then we have these seeds, palm tree seeds. These will give them the opportunity to burrow and hide. Well, a little bit of stones in here as well. Yeah, it'll just add to the, I don't know, texture or should I say character of the enclosure. Yeah, nothing much, but oh, let's put in a tarantula molt just because we can. This is my Lassidora para Banas mold, by the way. Look at how massive this thing is. Yeah, let's just put this in because we can, right? Just drop it in over here. It'll look pretty cool. It's a bad idea for me to hold it like this because the urticating hairs, but I don't know. There we go. Looking good, if you'd ask me. Let's toss in a little bit of moss as well, you know, because we, we can. They're beetles. They like places to hide. Usually beetles are underground and stuff, so I don't really care if these guys hide. I mean, if they hide, a hiding beetle is a happy beetle. You don't want one running around because it's stressful for them. Beetles are prey to a lot of animals. Tarantulas being one of them. Get ones from the bottom because they're more fine. You can just sprinkle them around like this. Raining moss. There we go. Moss, just stay there. And why not just add these plastic plants? You know, because we can. I mean, it doesn't look naturalistic, but it's something. Maybe from far it'll look naturalistic, or maybe in a picture, I don't know. Does this look naturalistic to you? No, don't comment in the comment if it does or does not, because it most likely does not. So, um, let's just sprinkle a little bit more of these. Yeah, I think, I think that looks pretty decent for some little beetles. I mean, they're not big at all. You guys saw them, right? Yeah, you can't really see them. Let's open this and then you can see them. Why won't this thing open? There we go. One, two. Oh my goodness, I'm such a failure. Couldn't even throw it like... Whatever. <laughs> So, um, there we go. They're still here. I mean, obviously they're still here. It's not like they're gonna fly away or run away, but let's pop them into their new enclosure, I guess. So this will probably be the last that you're gonna be seeing them because once they enter this enclosure, good luck trying to find them. Like seriously, they're gonna go hiding straight away. Dropped one. Can you find it? All right, first knock. 
All right, so what's that guy? See, he just disappeared out of nowhere. Oh, wait, there he is. But you can see that they are starting to enjoy their new enclosure. I mean, that one went into the mold. You can see it moving over there. Uh, this one is just chilling over here. But let's put all of them in. Get off. Yeah, these guys have very, very good grips on these eight crates. I wanted to knock them in here and then take this, pour it into the bucket. But I don't want to put oats into here because I will be spraying this down and oats will mold. So that is not good. Okay, you know what? Let's knock them all in here. This is a, yeah, more tarantula molds. Tarantula legs, mold legs, which we'll be tossing in here as well. And then we'll just knock these guys off in this, what do you call this? Filter? I don't know. Whoa! Hey, 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 get off, get off. What are you doing, man, serious? Everyone's off of this eight crate, out of the way. And then this one. Oh my gosh, look at that. If these were cockroaches, like our house cockroaches, I'll be like, gone. Okay, now. <sighs> wow, they have really good grip. Like, seriously, they, Oh, can you please not stick on me? Yes, thank you. I needed this space empty so I can knock more and not kill you guys. Okay, one, two, three. Yep, it's empty. Oh my gosh, so clumsy. Butterfingers. If you guys made it this far into the video, comment Butterfingers. <laughs> yeah, I have no other better things to do. Butterfingers. Hey, get off, man, dude, come on. All right, nothing else in this. You can go out. Don't fail this time. Hell yeah. Not over yet. We've still these guys, which yeah, are in oats. Not good, but I'll put these guys in here first. So what we're gonna do is and just put whatever we can in first. Oh, this is so satisfying. Let's go home, guys. Let's go. Look at them. Get in. So there are still leftovers, but I want to show you guys these. Oh my gosh, they disappeared. Look at that, you guys. What did I tell you? See, once they're already down there, they are super quick at disappearing. These Houdinis, I tell you. See, that's one over here having some fun climbing. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Having some fun climbing on this little palm tree thingy a branch. I don't know. Dried up branch. And here we go. Woo! Disappeared. I mean, literally, they dropped here, and there's one only right there. Okay, fine, there's another one over there. But they disappear, like, really, really fast. Man, they grip so hard on this netting. Bad idea putting them on this netting. Guys, what are you doing, man? Hey, can you please, like, get off, dude? What are you doing, man? Oi, why are you... Oh, my goodness, they're running all over the place. Beetle, get in. Where's the other one? There you are. Beetle, watch him crawl on me. Hey, you're supposed to crawl on me. What are you doing, man? Seriously. Come on. Come on. There we go. Get in. Sorry I'm rambling a little bit. All right, they're all at the side. So one hit, they should all fall down. Well, I mean, four, five, five hits, whatever. And not even all of them. <laughs> Man, these guys. Okay, you know what? This video is probably long enough. I'll probably try to get all of these guys. Yeah, there we go. I'll try to get all of these guys and these guys into here and then be right back. All right, we are done. Like this one is empty, this one is empty, and they're all in here. It's very difficult to see them. Can't really find them. I don't know if you guys spot something, let me know. It's not like I can hear you guys, but they're all in here, finally. There, there's one over, hey, where'd you go? Oh, there, there, there's one over there. And then over there, over there, yeah. They're all very, very happy as you can see. When they were in this enclosure, or container, I wouldn't consider this an enclosure, but when they were in this, with the eight crates you saw, right? They were just clumping up together at the eight crates, but over here, you can see them moving around. So they are very, very happy as you can see. So I think they are very, very happy and contented with this new enclosure. But now I'm gonna have to, I don't know, give it a light spritz. I've got my trusty old H2O. For those who don't know, it, it's water. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be spraying them very lightly, not too much, just three spritz like that, just so they can have a nice drink. I don't know why they're all clumping up over here. Like, what is so nice about this leaf? You guys seem to love this leaf. Yeah, I'll give you more of this leaf later if you want. But I've got a little piece of orange over here, just for their food and hydration, if they are interested. Look at that. They are even in the tarantula's mold. Yeah, these guys, they're enjoying their new enclosure, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna be putting this little piece of orange, I don't know, where should I put it? Like, down here? Yeah, I think I'll just put it down there. 
we'll just end the video over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, feel free to thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Do it! Notification bell right beside it. Hit it and you will know when we upload in the um, future. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great one. Take care. You guys are awesome and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the cover. Did I even show you the cover? I don't even know if I showed you the cover, but this is the cover for this enclosure and I've poked some holes using a soldering iron. So if you guys are wondering, yes, I'm going to be closing their enclosures. And if you're wondering if the lid has holes, yes, it does have holes.